Hello guys, this is TT95 here, and welcome back to Oxen Free. Where we last left off, Alex and Jonas were in the caves, and then something weird happened. And then they ended up here, so yeah. Let's get back to it. You alright? I thought you- uh, I'm, uh, I'm fine. God. You sure? I'm as sure as I think I'm gonna be. Look, I'm just gonna cut to the whatever. Like, I don't know exactly what happened back there, but the sign says that's an old communications tower, and I don't know about you, but I want to climb that ladder, call somebody, and get the hell back home as fast as possible. I don't uh, don't touch that, please. I'd really prefer not telling your mom that you're dead. She might not take too well to the news. Have you ever had a moment where you're standing on a ledge and you just... You just want to just, like, jump off and just see what it's like? No. Let's just use the tower and try and phone somebody. We can't leave without my friends, okay? You're... <sighs> Ren, sure. But does that list really include Clarissa? I'm not saying leave her, but... I just want to get this whole escape thing moving. Hardened Tower. Oh, it's called that, I think, because the radio man who watched it, he was Major Richard Harden. I don't know why I remember that. <laughs> Wait, the guy's name was Major Dick Harden? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that is great. Yep. It almost makes the whole trip worth it, doesn't it? I wouldn't go that far. So are you really friends with Clarissa? We can't leave anybody behind. They're here somewhere. This is not... This is not a thing. Okay, okay. Oh, enough for nothing. I'm fine with a little deep pantsing or whatever if the weather's right for it. But if this is some sort of prank or trick, I'm really, really not in the mood. So... Jonas, what? You think I somehow teleported us here? If I could do one-tenth of what happened back there, I wouldn't haze the new kid. I'd rob a bank. Maybe that's your Wednesday. <laughs> Just cross your fingers the comm tower has a working walkie-talkie or something. Any equipment it'll have will be, like, 80 years old. I don't know if I trust that. Even if it doesn't work, maybe we can get reception on our phones or something. I can see the cave, but not Ren or anybody. What do you think happened to them? <sighs> They're just being lame. I can hear Ren now. Let's go to the fort and throw rocks at walls. Great. Locked. Let me try. Oh, after you. Oh, why, thank you. <clears throat> well, if you want to do things the easy way, sure. Do not use aboard ship unsafe radiation limits. You know, I'd normally find this stuff kind of interesting, really. You know, normally. Thanks, I guess. There's a dial tone, but there's a note here. Does not call out. Please dial station code for service. There wouldn't happen to be a code there, would there? Nope. Nope. Perfect. Ah! Jesus. Hello? Hello? Alex? Alex? Ben? Oh, Jesus, Hoppin' Christ. Thank Vishnu. I, you guys went into that hole and a bunch of stuff. I have no idea what happened. I just woke up like 15 minutes ago. I, I saw the light on in the, uh, the tower thing. Hey, did you know that it's named after some guy named Dick Harden? Yeah. <laughs> it's Ren, just... It's been a rough night, you know? How'd you get this number? It's it's a code written on this list here. But it's not a normal phone. I can't call out. I'm at uh, the way station or whatever in the woods. It's been like... Like, just the worst thing ever. Just 
Defcon Fuchsia level terrible ever since you went into the cave. Like Why? How did you get all the way out there? Did you just take off sprinting when I went after Jonas? No, like I said, I must have like passed out or I don't know how I ended up here. Wait, I, I, I think that's the other line. Maybe it's like a night watchman or something, or they do like check-ins maybe. What's Wait, that? Bren, someone's calling on the other line. Just hold on a minute. I'm gonna see who it is. Okay, but make it quick, seriously. Hello? Oh, Jesus Christ, Alex? Why are you answering it? This, it says it's an emergency line. Where are you right now? Clarissa? And I'm in the comm tower, Clarissa. Where are you? I, I don't know. I'm somewhere in Fort Milner. I don't know why I, I don't remember like the last hour. I'm trying to call somebody, but I'm in a room with radio stuff that can, it says it can contact Kamina, but I don't, I have no idea how to make it work. Can you just come over here and figure this out with me? I don't care if you guys want to stay, I just No, wanna... just come here instead. Fort Milner's all the way on the other side of the island. Yeah, I know it is, Alex, but why would I go to the comm tower when there's a working radio that we can use to get help here? Fort Milner looked huge on the map. Do you know where the... And it dies. Ren, are you still there? Nope. Yeah. I guess that'd be too easy. So, want to truck over to Milner first? See about that radio? I mean, Clarissa can be a handful, but gotta take the bitter with the sweet. Look, I'm gonna leave it up to you. We can swing through the forest in Nabren, or we can go to the fort and see what Clarissa's up to. They're your people. Uh, SOS? Mayday, Mayday, um, CQD? CQD? Come quick, danger. Uh, what? It's, um, dead. Did you get anyone? No. I don't think so. I know Ren's scared, but Clarissa's walkie-talkie might be more important. You pick where you want to go. Let's go to the Ren needs us more. First. And he'd kill me if he knew we went to see Clarissa first. Sound logic. Okay. Oh, sh isn't it? Okay, so. But how do we get there? I'm guessing turn off the generator so we can get through the electrical, electrical fence. And then... Truck up the mountain. <laughs> get Ren and then go over the bridge and go to the fort. <laughs> they were all the way down at Beacon Beach. How the hell did they get all the way up there? <laughs> that is so weird. All right, let's figure out how to turn off this electrified fence, kickstart this rescue mission like the, uh, total badasses we are. Yeah, righteous. The fence should be off now. Great, but, um, don't take offense if I want to throw a stick at it first. Go right ahead. Come on, don't you trust me? The light turned off. I trust you to, like, not hurt me on purpose or anything, but, you know, if the fence kills me on accident, it's not really about trust at that point. <sighs> I mean, you got a point there. I wouldn't mind throwing a rock at it or something. I mean, a stick would work as, oopsies, as well, but... I mean, a stick would work better than a rock. So, yeah, how about we both throw sticks at the fence to make sure first that it's off. I mean, it'd work, right? Theoretically.
the lights are off. Let's try it. Yep, that worked. Alright, so we want to go this way. doing I'm fine I guess why just checking you know okay how are you Good. I'm doing fine too fine and dandy all right so we're on turn around this way good talk I love how we have a map. I, um, didn't realize just how much woods there were. This is like a, like a genuine forest. What's the matter? Not the outdoorsy type? Well, if it's in a city with concrete and a little open all-night pancake place, then yeah, I'm outdoorsy and that I'm outdoors. But I just want to make sure, you know, that we know where we're going. Yeah, of course. It's just over the river and through the wood, like the song. Yeah, but in the song, the horse knew the way to carry the sleigh. Through the white and whatever snow, I think. Yeah, and what's your point? That you'd be better off having a horse? When I got tired, you could eat it. All right, settle down. <coughs> I just want to make sure you know where it is. Ooh, I do. That's all I want to hear. You know, this whole place really creepily reminds me of a park, or woods, I guess, near where I used to live. It's really kind of felt just like this. It's weird. Oh yeah? What was that one called? Peabody, I think. I'm trying to remember the sign, but like half the letters had fallen off, so it spelled pea pork. My dad was really happy to move here, you know? He said the schools were safer, less knifings per capita. I guess he never considered the danger of whatever's happening right now. But, you know... No offense, but your town sounds like the worst place on Earth. Well, it's not like your town. I'll put it that way. Yeah. Dude, if I had... If I lived in a town like this, gosh darn it, I would... Love... This thing's so weird looking. Apparently it's 400 years old. There's a cafe in town named after it. And next, on the tour of Edwards Island, an old bush. Yeah, no, you're right. Who cares? History, am I right? I'm not making fun. It's just... It's a tree. Okay, so we want to go to Bridge Set. This one. Let's go. Anyways, I would love... I would be outdoors all the time. I would be exploring... I would love to live there. But I don't. Alright. Now we're hopefully getting somewhere. Hopefully is the route. Um, why is there a cable car here? Couldn't they have just made, like, just like a normal bridge? With wood? It's not a cable car, it's a bridge ferry. Bridge ferry? Yeah, it's like an army thing. Or... I know there's rules about what you can build on protected land, so maybe this is all it's zoned for or something. It looks less than welcoming. Or at least it doesn't look very inviting. I don't know. I think we have to. Oh, come on. It's the woods. There has to be, like, I don't know, other dirt we can walk on to get to Ren. It's a chasm, Jonas. What do you want me to say? All right. Well, let's just see if we gotta take the, um, conveyor thing that's been rotting here since the invention of ovens. 
In it says it's the, I don't know, Catbird Station. And the call sign is weird, 60.8? The dial doesn't go that far. Huh. The first time I it on them, I have a piano helicopter. And run inside with the first hit. But the first mess I saw the tent are left in the fight. Okay, that happened. We can't go that way, I guess. I don't know. Is up here. Hi, right, babe. Prow. Power transfer station one six seven. Okay, that's a little strange. Why wouldn't they lock it? I mean, somebody should have locked it, right? Um, maybe there's no need. Like there's nothing here to steal, or something. All right, I'll go with that. Just cause. What else am I gonna do? Being terrorized on an island by unseen forces really makes you miss television. Well, maybe if we get the power working, you can catch up on the soaps. I found the circuit breaker. Wait, like the first thing it says is beware of overload. Do not attempt restart without supervision. Um, so I don't know. Jonas, the bridge ferry looks pretty well and dead, so I don't know how we do this without power. Just let me do it. That way, if something bad happens... You know. That's very sweet. <sighs> really, but I'm not the type of sister you need to throw your coat on the puddle for, okay? Okay. It's your barbecue. Uh, what did you flip? Because it kind of did the opposite of what we wanted. The lamp's flickering. Do you think it's like on backup power now or something? <sighs> Might be, but... <sighs> Oh god. What the hell? That's that's God, I haven't heard this in forever. This is something my mom used to ah. <laughs> I am so tired Jesus. of this funhouse bullcrap. Criminately. Oh my god. What the hell? Um that happened. <laughs> Sorry for those of you. Uh, was that there before? No. I don't... Why did we just Alex, freaking... are you all right? Ah! Alex! <laughs> Not funny. Not funny. Opposite. Total opposite of funny. It was worth it. <sighs> what a night, huh? <sighs> what a night. Um, what does that mean? You said it first. I'm just saying, this this isn't anybody's fault, you know. It just happened. Stuff happens. Yeah, you're right. Stuff happens. It just sucks that we'll be all the right. stuff that's happening is, like, really terrifying and annoying. Humming like a barracuda. Barracudas don't hum. 
Well, this one is. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Ooh. That happened. I really like this game. I don't know if it's paranormal or alien or what. But I like it. No, 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 oh, no, no. Come on, this isn't working again. It's all right. We don't want to go back anyway. Yeah, I guess so. I didn't want to go back. <laughs> um. Some people camp here, but it's weird. I, I don't know why they just leave their tent. Looks kind of dumpy. Like, I don't know, like it's been abandoned. For maybe a while. I don't know. You used to come here a lot as a kid, right? To the islands, I mean... You... I mean, didn't you already say that? Did I? I only mention it because my family trips were awful. My mom would always insist on going to Missouri every single year. Ugh. I mean, it was all we could afford, but still. That's a long drive for pretty m <laughs> Why was it so bad? It just... Wait, wasn't this... <sighs> we passed this a minute ago, right? And it wasn't burning? I, am um, honestly don't remember. Yeah, so anyways, I think places are pretty much what you make of them, you know? And not the other way around. It's just, you used to come here a lot as a kid, right? To the islands, I mean. I'm Something is, something's wrong. We've already done this, like, twice. Done what? Because I don't remember any of this. Jonas, seriously, you don't remember? You keep asking me if I came here as a kid a lot, again and again. Um, okay. I mean, if you say so, but, but um, I don't even know what you're saying. What are you saying? <sighs> are we lost? I keep repeating this one moment for some <sighs> reason. God, this is, uh, new. Ah, oh, it's, it's kind of weird. I had the exact same kind when I was a kid. Yeah, why would a toy company make two, right? Shut, Shut up. up. You used to... Wait. Haven't we done this before? We're going in circles or something. Yeah, Jonas, we... We're working on it. Okay. Oh, the ball, um, moved? That was weird. Take that. Ball. Um. Who's there? So it's just. That's strange. Why do I feel like I'm being mocked now? What the hell? going on I'm taking a picture of the ball moving not your kicking just so you know all right who are you all right who are you Maybe don't antagonize whoever. Okay. I think they have a sense of humor. Oh, what's that? Don't want to play anymore? <laughs> oh my god. Alex, can you believe this? <sighs> 
My doctor's not gonna be happy with my blood pressure this year. Yeah, mine neither. Alex. Jonas! No, Jonas, no. where... Where are you? It's not creepy anymore. It's not static anymore. It's not static -y anymore. What just happened? <gasps> Whoa, wait, what what's happening? Tell Michael to break up with Clarissa. It's for the best. But Michael's dead. How could I even Wait, wait. We've done this before. Ah, oh, really? Again? It's all right. We must have just missed, um, something. I, um, it was weird. You were gone for a minute. I did this, I did the repeat thing again, and my reflection talked to me. Talked to you? What, uh, what did it say? Or was it, like, anything you could even... It said that I should tell Michael to break up with Clarissa. Which is, of course, totally useless advice for a doppelganger, since Michael's still totally dead. Huh, this look... It's, like, super old, but, man, it's almost spotless. It's one of those, um, magnetophones, I think they're called. Or some other reel-to-reel -reel thing from the 40s. Why would it be here? You know, I didn't realize I felt like a pressure in my head until right now. Maybe yeah, doing that no fixed the loop. But whatever you did helped something, I think. Uh, feel any better? Maybe... Remember all the times we trekked through here now? No, not really. I mean, I remember the ball thing, but that... I guess that didn't just happen, right? I don't know, I feel like I just woke up from a dream. Everything's so vague. Let's just keep going and get Ren. Yay, we can finally climb. So, having fun yet? I'm so glad our families are uniting, Alex. This will be a grand adventure for the two of us. Unless we die. Unless we die, yes. What do you think they want? The, uh, the ghosts. I don't know. I just hope they want to, like, play soccer every once in a while, and that's it. Yesterday, the remains of four bodies were discovered in two cars submerged west of Cape Mears. How the cars got in the water, no one... That's creepy. Do we need to go up here for anything? I'm gonna go up here anyways, cause I want to. You can stay down there if you want to, or, or J Jonas, sorry. Any of these, uh, codes that we come across, or that I come across, if any of you guys 
understand them, please leave them down in the comments below because I sure the heck do not know what any of these means. I know they're military, is uh... That Nona? Nona! That is Nona! I know they're military, uh... Do, do, don't, don't, okay? Just don't move, okay? Don't come anywhere near me. Nona. Just don't move. What is it? What's wrong? This night has turned banana bread really fast. And I'm seeing things and forgetting. Don't come near me. Come on, Alex. Just back away. Nona, it's me, Alex. Remember? Nona, we haven't run into you all night. This is the first time. Maybe not you, but it was an Alex and a Jonas. What are you talking about? Back at the beach? I'm talking about the Alex I saw at the pier. After the cave looked like the freaking 4th of July, and I lost track of everybody. Nona, believe me, that wasn't us. I don't know that yet. So, just look. You're not gonna talk about my grandfather. You're just gonna stand there, politely, and tell me if you've seen Clarissa. Because I've been looking. Clarissa's no, at... no, we haven't. But we, uh, we're actually we're looking for Ren right now. So have you, have you maybe seen him? No, not Ren. Okay, well. Hey, listen, Nona, you should come with us. That way we're not all, you know, separated. I'm not going anywhere with you. All right. Okay. Hey, I get it. I do. I'm jumpy right just now. Hold up a second, Nona. Okay. Yeah. Can you just do us a favor? Can you just, can you go to the comm tower and wait for us? We got the lights on there, and... No, no, Clarissa's at Fort Milner, okay? She's somehow gotten some two-way to work. Fort Milner? But I think it'd really be better if you just waited for us to find her ourselves. Yeah? And the comm tower is... where? It's the cloud buster at the edge of town. Can't miss it. And you. You're really you? Really? Yeah, no, no, it's me, Alex. All right, bye. That girl's a peach. And what is with you telling a clearly very deeply troubled person to go explore an abandoned military fort alone? I don't even like that we're gonna have to do it. Hey, she wanted to know. I'm not gonna lie to her about her best friend. I just hope she goes to the tower, that's all. For her sake. And for your conscience. Oh, eat me, okay? How about that for your conscience? That is, that doesn't even make sense, and I'm shocked and appalled. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely strange. Alright guys, that's gonna be it for this episode of Oxenfree. Like I said, any of the Morse code codes or any of the um, other type of military codes that we hear in this game, if you know how to translate them, please put them down in the comments below and that'd be really grateful. <laughs> I'd be really grateful because I want to know and I don't even... I mean, you can search them on Google, but... Yeah. I don't even know how to decipher uh, Morse code. So... <laughs> um, but yeah, we're, we're getting closer to Ren. We found Nona. She was a little scared, which is reasonable for what's been going on. And yeah. Uh but that's gonna be it for this episode of Oxen Free. I hope you guys all enjoy this. Remember to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon, and leave a comment down below. And this is DT95 signing off. Bye, guys.